Hey, how are you? Good, I hope. I hope you've seen my first video of this. I'm still talking about Forbidden Archaeology's Impact by Michael Cremo. And my curiosity is so sharper and deeper than it's ever been before in my life. Although I've always been curious about one thing or another. But uh, after all I've been experiencing in life, and the info books I've been getting, and this is a distinguishable important one in my eyes. I guess you could just call me the ancient detective as I will grab any kind of book or info I can find to read more on this. But I wrote down a few things in here that uh, had a lot of my attention and there's some of my thoughts in here with it too so if you really want to know the difference read the book okay not all the ideas are of equal value the best way to distinguish between them is by analysis of the evidence not by the entertainment value of the presentation which I was talking of about on NBC which the following companies did, heavily dependent on science for their own welfare and promoted the continuing decline of American prowess in silence, in science. Kellogg Company, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Olive Garden, Toyota, Kellogg's, J.C. Penney, Wendy's, Lens Crafters, Folgers Coffee, m, &M Candy, and I sure want to look up any history I can find on those, too. These companies wielded their power over Americans by using the media, by controlling what the media told the people on TV, by threatening to cut them off money from their advertising, is what I th figured. Uh, like Kellogg did NBC to stop them from their presentation of the book Forbidden Archaeology by Michael A. Cremo. And I don't know if they called it that one the origins, the mysterious origin of man or not, but that will come out. One can always challenge the dating methods, the statistical analysis, the provenance, etc., but there appears to be a double standard. Evidence in harmony with the current consensus tends to be treated leniently, whereas evidence that departed from the current consensus is subjected to extremely corrosive scrutiny. Knowledge Filtration Chemo and Thompson claim that me mechanistic science is a militant ideology skillfully promoted by the combined effort of scientists, educators, and wealthy industrialists with a view towards establishing worldwide intellectual dominance. Uh, in my words, in high prices, uh, addictions, and money, in my words, extreme conservatism, Republicans of many archaeologists, I'm saying is they probably are re the Republicans, and physical anthropologists, con scientists. There were many little guys that found ancient artifacts that has been hidden from the public, and I'm very, very curious about those. It mentioned a few. Farmers, miners, quarry workers reported these artifacts from curiosity more than the money lust that a lot of men seem to have these days. California and Oklahoma is just a couple of states where some of these artifacts were found and kept secret. And I'm in Oklahoma with some rough, tough, mean Republicans. Fraud, forgery, and hypocrisy rampant in archaeological studies of Western Christian colors Christian scholars written by P.N. Oak. In fact, mankind could be more than a million years old. Estimate runs from 260 to 320 million years old. And my thoughts is, 
What I do know for a fact is that warriors that fight for the power of control over other people destroy all knowledge of history at the start of their wars. And it's true, these people here are guilty of such too. As our American soldiers supported the destruction of some of the oldest history records in the Middle East as our soldiers turned and looked the other way. While the historical records and buildings were torn down and burned up in Iraq. And many of those records belong to us too. So, I have some links down here on a lot that I could find. Now, I'm not through researching, but these are some of the links that I would suggest you go to if you're curious. And I'm wondering about uh, these militant people and the ones that own the company and things like that. And I'm wondering, where are they from? Who are they? Who was their relatives back in old, old times? And I think there's some answers coming to me. Another book I want to talk about later, I think it has something to do with it as well. The People's Guide to Life After Contact, Contact, A.D. After Disclosure by Richard M. Dolan and Bryce Zabel. And if you're curious, I suggest you read that book too. I want to talk about it later in some of the uh, experiences I've been having. I do have contact with them when they feel like it. Unlike any man, you got to wait on them. <laughs> Very true. But there's other things about them that I want to tell, and I'm not ready to do that yet. So, I, I hope somebody out there helps me look around too, because I'm just so curious. I'd love to hear anything that you might know about that I don't yet. And I'm wishing you a great night or day, wherever you are. Later.